What's up and welcome to a new video. Today the gang is back. Are you smoking? No. <laughs> so today we are on a runway in East Germany. Yeah. Sure. Start again. <laughs> no, 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 no. Start again. From what? What's up and welcome to a new video. Today we are in Germany. Uh, we are with the DBM gang and Clint and obviously Connor and Fionn. And uh, we have the three cars here. It's the first time that we actually get to do a bit of testing, which is very, very good. Uh, the lads from DBM and from JT Performance have gone through the cars truly to make sure that hopefully we have no issues today testing, basically. Uh, so the aim of today is just to try to get a couple of runs in and um, yeah, go through everything, play with setup, play with everything, and get everybody as comfortable as possible. So. The lads are going to get changed, I'm going to get changed, we're going to jump in, we're going to do the first laps, make sure that everything is okay. And uh, yeah, we'll try to keep you updated, we're going to try to get some on board, uh, we're going to see what happens, but um, yeah, excited, the lads said that the cars should be good, so we're going to take their word for it, going to go do a lap and uh, see how we get on. How's that going for you? Ah, it's fucking hate me and the mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> right, talk us through it. It's now doing the wheel nerd. Okay. And done it. <laughs> Too much Uga Dugas. Too much. Uh, Less Uga Dugas. Harry, Harry, one. Harry Kerr says two or three Uga Dugas. Yeah, that's plenty. That's like torque to spec, you know. So, Connor, huh. how's it going? I'm loving it, man. <laughs> Much better? Yeah, so fucking good. Two for three, isn't it? Having a great time. Look, lad, didn't even tighten that one. Well, like you're using a torque bar, so you don't need to tighten them fully. How are you getting on? Alright. Not yeah. great, like. The yeah. throttle has somehow seemed to get worse since then. Yeah. It was great. It was, I drove it anti leg and it was, it was fairly good, like, it was easy. It was when I come off throttle, it stays full throttle for like two seconds. Yeah. And I can't feather it. That's why I'm driving with the clutch so much. Mm. To take, to stop the wheels from spinning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because, uh... Yeah, we'll go through that. And it's not, it's not like going like to like, it's not hitting like two or three and jumping up. It's yeah. like staying consistent the whole way to full throttle. Mm -hmm. It's, it's just not great. Are you going back out now? We'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll figure it out. <laughs> so yeah, uh, as you can see, we're a little bit happier. Fionn, Stayed with the e throttle as he wanted to stay with the e throttle, um, and now he's paying the price. So <laughs> that's his own fault. But uh, yeah, we have all your runes here, and we have the hip VCU master to try get the graphing of the pedal right for him, and hopefully it's correct. Uh, by the end of the day, uh, me and Connor, our cars are back to like normal basically, and yeah, I must say it's great. Uh, like I've done probably. I've done like six, seven laps now, uh, and just the car feels absolutely amazing. Like the the throttle response, the power, everything is just perfect. So after the first three laps, I've done a little bit of uh, an alignment change, kind of went a bit too extreme. So I'm going to try wind it back now a bit and just try to get the car to drive as comfortable as possible, basically. And um, yeah, just yeah, I'm kind of falling back in love with the car, which is good because after Spain, I wasn't in the form for anything with it. Um, so yeah, right now, change the alignment again, find a new set of tyres, go and see what it feels like. I'm not going to do a set of tyres anymore, I'm just going to go do lap by lap. Keep adjusting the steering until I get it how I want it. Um, but yeah, we're, we're happy, Connor's smiling, I'm smiling. 
Jeroen is smiling, so that's kind of all that matters. Uh, we're just happy. So, um, yeah, do a bit of change and continue again. Sofian, how was your day? It was okay. Yeah? That was good. Happy? Yeah. Nearly uh, there. Some improvements? Definitely improvements, but we're still, we're still not really where we need to be with the travel bus. We're getting there. Yeah, yeah. So. But I think... No, it's not the worst. It's not <laughs> yeah. the worst. I mean, when you, think, when you think of it too much, you're always going to find problems with something, so... Yeah. But you're happy with <laughs> getting to drive the car again? Yeah. It was, it's actually a pretty cool layout. Like, you could fairly send it, like... Yeah, it's good fun. Yeah, definitely. That's the job. You so, didn't uh, really, did you? No, I had a bit of a terrible day. <laughs> well, not too bad. Like, obviously, could the uh, yeah, it definitely could be worse. But um, my car is obviously back to like 100%. Uh, I only got, only ended up getting five or six laps. Um, but like the response is back. The car feels powerful. Everything is how I want it to be, basically. Uh, it's everything that I was searching for in Spain, uh, to be honest. Um, so yeah, it's back to that. Thank you to Jeroen at JT Performance, Jeroen at DBM and Flo uh, for all the hard work. Uh, they've worked their ass off the last uh, two weeks since Spain, trying to make sure that everything is absolutely 100%. Um, basically, we just had a bit of electrical noise in the wiring and that was kind of what was causing the trigger issues and everything. And uh, for some reason, my e-trattle in my car um, it, it wouldn't stay like fully calibrated or something so we actually went back to cable throttle uh, me and Connor uh, because what we know uh, we did have the faith to try to get it right uh, obviously Fionn doesn't know any better so he's going to stay working with it for the rest of the season to try to get it to 100% and then at the end of the year we will see we might, uh, we might go back to e throttle on mine and Connor's car also just to see if we can get the anti lag and everything working uh, the pops and bangs are nice, it's good for the show, but uh, yeah, unfortunately I let Clint drive the car and uh, he ended up uh, breaking the diff while he was driving, so the, uh, I have the diff out now, um, sitting here, we have the half shafts just uh, cable tied up just for transport, uh, the cars will be going home now, so when they get home next Sunday I will be getting back to work and uh, yeah, I must clear the shed this week and uh, get all the work that I've on out of the way. And then, cars will be back, get everything uh, once over. There's one or two little to, little jobs to do to Connor and Fionn's car. Um, and then, yeah, we're kind of just going to try to get a diff sorted for my car, either repair what's in it or else get a new diff and then repair my diff as a spare diff for the truck because we don't actually have a spare diff at the moment. But um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. So we'll see how Connor got on. So, you're happy today? Very happy. A bit happier than Spain? Yeah, no, I'm really, really happy. Feel yeah. right at home in the car, so. Yeah. Quite happy with that. Um, yeah, just adjust some setup when we get to Mandela, but cars on rails feel so good in it, so. Yeah. You have to put her on the fucking box now. Mandela was the plan. <laughs> get yeah. back in this race sooner rather than later, so. But yeah, thank you to the guys. Yeah. Everyone done a great job was quite enjoyed today obviously yeah. not the best day for you but you still know that the car is yeah. working very very good and you look very very good in the car as well so 
yeah, we'll see what happens. But uh, happens. I'll ask you the question that everyone's going to ask you in the comments because you've just won at Orlando in an E36, and now you're driving the GTA 6 uh, back to uh, back and forward right now. Back to its uh, like proper self. Yeah. Um, how do you think that's gonna? How do you how do you know, feel I between both cars? Like, I really like the 36 to be honest. I actually am starting to accept that maybe I'm an LS driver. Like it suits my style, mm. but at the same time, that thing you don't get better than that car. Like when it's at its best, that's the wildest drift car I've definitely drove. Like even coming home from uh, America and the 36, you think like, oh, you're fully hooked up, like battling in those top four finals. And I go out in that car at like. 27 psi and you take off and it's like an airplane like yeah, it doesn't yeah. make sense how fast they are here but but yeah honestly the 36 is doing his job i'm not going to slag any of them right now because i need both of them to work in my favor but um you know i've been a 36 guy as well like my whole life ah, yeah so. but we've been 36 guys when yeah. it comes when it comes to m3s yeah, and three to eights yeah. but but um yeah the, uh, i i enjoyed 86 too it would take a lot for me to change for it, but who knows? Maybe I will change. Yeah. Not to a 36, by the way. Before everybody thinks I'm going building a 36 for here, but could be BMW. Some, could be BMW. Some, though. It could be BMW. Who knows? <laughs> but I'm not going to say anymore. But for right now, the 86 is back, working perfect. Yeah. Ready to start so. pushing now and and uh, try get a win in Europe as well. Would be nice. Yeah. You ready for Mandela then? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready to go. You ready for Mandela? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the man is never ready. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's us. Well, that's the lads basically ready for Mandalo. I have a little bit of work to do with the white car. But, um, yeah, we've had a good day. Clint has got a lot of testing. Dave is here in his new car, got a lot of testing in. He seems to be very happy and very at home with what DBM have built for him, basically. Um, so, yeah, we're uh, going to call it a day, going to get packed up, get back on the road. We fly home in the morning, back to a busy workshop. Try to get everything done before the truck is back on Sunday. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of... Everything from us now, we have a lot of extreme performance tires burned off today. Um, so yeah, thank you to Thomas again for the support this year. I actually forgot to mention him on the video in Spain when I was thanking all the sponsors and <laughs> I got a message off him. So Thomas, this for you, thank you for your support this year. Obviously, drifting would not be possible without you um, and our success. So um, yeah, that's it from us. From a very sunny Germany, we're very happy with the cars. Hopefully Mandela goes to better better success to my way ahead in Spain but um yeah we're gonna be pushing to the limits and beyond and that's for <laughs> sure because there's no more playing around we've already kind of had our bad round we can't come back and do a bad round from now so yeah thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the cars are good and yeah see you in the next one like subscribe share appreciate it see ya